it's almost Prime Day, and this is a good opportunity to tell you about a tool that everybody should have. Not just technicians, but everybody should probably have this tool. And it is the dash cam. This one is from uh, Pilsy, P-E-L-S-E-E. -E. It is the Pilsy P3 4K dash cam. It will do forward cam as well as it's got a reverse cam, which I'll show you in a minute. So it will record forward and backwards all at the same time as well as they've got a pretty neat phone app to be able to control this thing, to be able to get the videos off of it pretty easily and things like that. So let me show you some of these things. So first off, we'll just show you the, the main unit. It is basically just sticky taped kind of, it's, it's not really sticky tape, it's more of like a gel that is on the glass here. Um, it is got some hardwired connections to get it power as well as the rear camera. Um, and right now I have it set up to where it shows me the rear camera, but it'll also, you can make it show you the front camera. But since uh, I can't see out the back, <laughs> I kind of use this as a uh, rear view mirror kind of thing um, because that rear view mirror doesn't really do any good. I, they do have several different options of cameras and screen setups. Uh, one thing I don't like about this one is it is a little small, but they've got the bigger, like it's a full mirror. And that is actually what I wanted, except Ford has this and it would have been, the, the camera would have been like right here. So it would have been shining through that. And I didn't really want that. I wanted something that could actually see clearly out the windshield. So I had to go with the smaller little screen, but they do have a, a nice big screen. And if I didn't have this little dot matrix up there, I, I would have went that direction. And then back here in the back, I've got the rear camera, which you can't even see it's right there it's inside the glass right here it's just double side taped on there and it's held into this and this is also adjustable you can aim it however you need to it's got little click detents in there to where like once you angle it a little it'll kind of like lock in that position but yeah it was a pain to run the cable through this door most doors or hatches you'd probably be on like a, a trunk where you've got just a, a hatch it would be much easier than how i had to run through that so there is a, a cord you have to run of course it's not wireless but if you're a, a technician or something like that i'm sure that's not really a, a big deal for you the cable i, I had to run it across the top up through here and there is some extra slack in here too so even if it was a bigger vehicle there's still plenty of cable to get from the back to the front and i'm actually been really really happy with this thing i've had it now for i don't know maybe two months something like that um and one of the main reasons why i got it is I've got a buddy that does mobile diagnostics and programming stuff too. He's out in, in Texas, I think in the Dallas area is where he's mainly at. And man, I'll share some clips from him here of just some close calls. Like this, this clip right here, like there's a a truck coming up behind him and there's audio with these things too so they can hear and on the audio you can hear he clearly has his turn signal on you can clear here click 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 and this truck like just comes flying up on him honking his horn like he's doing something wrong and but clearly the truck 
wasn't paying attention. So that's a close call right there. Um, and then in this clip, he his truck actually gets hit by this other truck pulling a trailer. And that guy told his insurance that my buddy hit him. And, and clearly in the dash cam recording, you can see he is sitting still, not moving. And this trailer just scrapes, scrapes the back of his truck. <laughs> like, what? Like, like the insurance company wasn't going to pay it first because that guy said my buddy hit him clearly a lie i mean <laughs> so that was really the things that prompted me to get a dash cam because man you just you just never know what's going to happen out there so many crazy drivers so many accidents uh, it's more or less just a protection for me so i can have video evidence front and back of if something was to happen you know i have it recorded so let's say something does happen like that and you need to get that recording well on the app here y'all guys will be able to see the screen capture from my phone here if i can sit my phone somewhere where i can do this um i do have the unit up here set in come on focus i don't know if it's gonna focus but it's in mile per hour you can always see the GPS speed and everything. There we go. The date, the time, the mile per hour. But on the app, for some reason, it doesn't have it in mile per hour. It has it in kilometers per hour. Um, I do need to send in a, a thing because I, in the settings, I've not been able to figure out how to change that in the app here. But on the the camera is in the settings to change that so I, I don't i don't know where it is in the app but it's really not that big of a deal um when you go over to your save files these are all what's on the sd card of the camera there is this tab that says locked and these are I had the settings, there's a crash detection on this thing. So I had the settings set really high at one time to where it would record and log some of these things. And basically once it saves these, they are locked on the SD card until you delete them. Like actually delete them. So these are all just me driving around and hitting hard bumps and it would trigger one of these things or something and save and lock that file. Um, apparently here I am doing something to a truck and I, and I made it do it. Cause you can see me walking around the back of it. <laughs> I actually do know that, that they're, they got just like a rough drive in a, a rough road. So I have it set to save like two minute or one minute clips like every clip is broke down into one minute sections keeps the files smaller um makes it a little bit easier to look through things so i do i do like that um things that are just on here you can i thought i had one saved somewhere you can download these to the phone and have them on the phone. Yep, here's some that's downloaded. And once they're downloaded, let me turn that volume down. Once they're downloaded, you can see that it actually will plot you on the map, where you are on the map, your speed, you know, things like that. Um, like I said, this is in kilometers per hour on here for some reason. Um, I got to figure out how to change that, but this would be like the forward uh, looking camera and you can see it. Like, that's a really good picture. And if I turn my phone sideways, you can see the full screen version of it. I don't know how I'm going to do that in the edit, but 
Yeah, so this is the forward view of it, and this was the rear view of it. You can see I had a Tahoe behind me. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm really actually pretty happy with this thing. I, I will get these clips pulled off of the SD card and actually put them on the computer as well and see, uh, see if I can get like a quality difference in it. Um, I haven't done that yet. I've only looked at them on the phone. I've got to figure out how to separate the GPS data from the video data and, and stuff like that still. So I'll figure that out before I get this video posted or I may not be able to uh, if time doesn't allow because I got a lot of stuff to do today. But overall, if you if you do a lot of driving, especially in some of these bigger cities, I mean, people are crazy out there. Get you a dash cam of some sort to record, you know, not only the front, but the rear. And that's really why I went with this camera to see front ways and backwards. Um, they actually have another version where it's four backwards and then there's a, a second camera on the inside looking inside the car. I didn't really need that. It's not really something I need. But yeah, they've got tons of options. And so far, the camera has been working flawlessly. I thought I was kind of worried when I first put it in here. Um, this thing, it, it, it does get pretty warm to the touch. Like, especially up here around the SD card, it gets pretty hot. Um, so I was kind of actually worried about the heat, uh, especially being here. Sometimes inside this van during the day, if it's not running, gets extremely hot. But so far, I've not had any issues with it turning off because of heat or anything like that. Um, the little gel thing that they use to hold this on the windshield, it is, it's there. It's, it, it hasn't moved. It hasn't failed. It hasn't done anything. It's exactly where I stuck it. So really actually real happy with this thing. So if you're looking for Amazon Prime Day deals, this is one of them. I'll leave a link to it down in the uh, description. And if if the little screen and stuff isn't what you want, if you want the big full screen, look for them. They've got them on there. They got plenty of other versions of, of this thing, um, but it's really good. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys later.